Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda has asked the governor of Fukushima to back government plans to build a facility in the prefecture to temporarily store radioactive soil. Noda visited a disaster hit area for the first time this year and met with Fukushima Governor Yuhei Sato on Sunday. Noda said the fight is not over yet, even though he declared last month that the Fukushima Daiichi reactors had reached a state of cold shutdown. You bred raptors. He said the government will do all it can to deal with decontamination, compensation, and health management issues. Do Dr. Sattler, Dr. Grant, you've heard, of, you've heard of chaos theory? Environment Minister Goshi Hosono requested late last year that a strange facility be built in Futaba County in Fukushima Prefecture. I'd like to ask you to consider the request. Governor Sato asked the Noda administration to provide free medical services to all Fukushima residents under the age of 19. See, the Tyrannus are, uh, uh, doesn't have any set patterns or, or, or part schedules. He also asked the government to shut down and dismantle all 10 reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi and Fukushima Daini plants. Still not clear on chaos. He also asked the government to shut down and dismantle all 10 reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi and Fukushima Daini plants. Prime Minister Noda also attended a meeting between the central government and Fukushima on the prefecture's reconstruction. Governor Sato expressed displeasure at the declaration Noda made last month that the nuclear accident had been contained. The essence uh, of chaos. You declared a state of cold shutdown and said the accident had been contained. But the sentiments of Fukushima residents are very different. We can only say the accident has been contained when all the evacuees have returned home. Japan's rapidly growing society is also causing the population to drop, and the capital Tokyo is no exception. The metropolitan government projects the prefecture's expanding population will begin to slump after peaking in 2020. The government has released a forecast of Tokyo's population for every five years through 2035 based on the 2010 national census. Tokyo should see its population rise to about 13.3 million in 2020 and then decrease to less than 12.8 million in 2035. That will be a drop of nearly 600,000 from the peak here. The population in 2010 was about 13 million. The metropolitan government says the influx of young people will ease and deaths will outnumber births due to the country's aging society and low birth rate. It predicts one quarter of the population will be 65 or older by 2020. One fourth of these elderly will probably live alone. Japan will introduce a point-based immigration system to allow more foreigners with professional skills to become residents. The move is meant to maintain international competitiveness despite the country's rapidly aging population. The Justice Ministry will install the new system in April in line with a government decision made in 2010. The plan would give preferential treatment to university professors and people working in academics and research. Doctors and other professionals with specific knowledge or skills along with corporate executives and upper managers will also be favored. Education, working experience, Japanese language proficiency and other qualifications will be evaluated by a point system. Those who satisfy a certain total score will qualify for preferential treatment. If qualified, applicants can apply for permanent residency after living in Japan for five years instead of the usual ten. They could also bring their own domestic helpers to Japan, a perk that currently only a handful of people can obtain. Oh my God. About 2,000 people are expected to qualify for preferential treatment each year once the system is in place. The Fukushima crisis is causing Japan to rethink its energy strategy. Japan is now scheduled to launch a new energy policy by summer. The plan is to feature less nuclear power and liberalized utility fees. The government is conducting a thorough review of the country's energy policy in the wake of the Fukushima nuclear crisis. 
Besides reducing nuclear dependency, separating power generation and distribution is also on the agenda. An economy ministry panel on energy resources will decide when and to what degree the nation's reliance on nuclear energy should be reduced. It will set targets for a combination of thermal power with hydro and other renewable energy sources based on cost. The plan will also separate power distribution from generation. The revised policy is expected to open the path for newcomers to the nation's power industry and to liberalize utility fees for households. The Japanese government intends to install a large-scale tsunami monitoring system on the Pacific seabed to speed up its warning process. The science ministry plans to install an underwater cable near the Nippon Trench in the Pacific Ocean. It will also place seismometers on the seabed and underwater tsunami detectors that use hydraulic pressure sensors. The gauges will be installed by March 2013 in waters off the Boso Peninsula and the San Riku Coast. The March 11th earthquake occurred in this area, colored pink, on this chart. The ministry says that it will set up the equipment at more than 150 locations surrounding the epicenter zone by March 2015. Separately, the meteorological agency will install seismometers at three locations in waters about 400 kilometers off the northeastern coast sometime this year. Data from the seismometers will be collected by satellites and used to detect a massive earthquake that is expected to occur east of the Nippon Trench in the Pacific Ocean. The new system will enable the agency to issue prompt tsunami warnings with accurate data. I hope such real-time information will help people ev evacuate appropriately. The Hokkaido quake was eight on the Richter scale. Everything was leveled. I don't get it. There are no active faults in that area. And Bazooka thought he heard some explosions just before the quake started. Oh, then it wasn't a natural phenomenon. It doesn't make sense. You know, Japanese scientists are trying to prevent major earthquakes by setting off precisely placed explosions. And Cobra might have figured out how to cause earthquakes with explosions. Right. Iran says it will begin enriching uranium at a new underground nuclear plant, defying U.N. resolutions banning such a move. Iran's nuclear chief, Faridun Abbasi, said that a nuclear enrichment plant near the city of Qom will produce uranium with a purity of 20% in the near future. Western intelligence agencies discovered the facility three years ago. Located underground, the enrichment plant is well protected against possible military attacks from Israel and other nations. The country is already enriching uranium at another facility in Natanz in central Iran. The activity could lead to the production of nuclear weapons. Iran has been transferring centrifuges from Natanz to the new facility since last year. The latest move to advance Iran's nuclear program is likely to cause tension with the United States and Europe. Say this situation isn't great 
It is my time to make the most of it. Of course I didn't know that it would happen.